Hey y'all, it's Tasha from Oshi Grows. And well, I am out in the garden. Today, um, I came out here to see what I can harvest, but I think I might just go ahead and give y'all a little bit of a tour because it's been a while since I've shown anybody, you know, much of the garden, so why not? Now, I've done a lot of expanding since I seen y'all last. Now, the mosquitoes won't let me be great, so I almost dropped my phone because two of them landed on my hand as I'm recording. But um, I have added a lot to the garden since y'all seen me last and seen the garden last, too. So I'm excited to show y'all some stuff. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started. All right, now let's remember this is a judgment-free zone. You might see some things that are not so pretty, and it's okay. This is a real live working garden, <laughs> and it's not perfect for anybody but me. Don't judge. Okay, so we got this bed here. This is a newer bed since you've seen it last. My compost station is right back there. But we got this sad looking tomato, y'all. This is a pineapple tomato, but I'm here for that. This is a pineapple tomato, look at that. But I'm gonna take it because I still want it green. You know why I want it green. Look at that. And it still had more time to grow, but I just can't risk it starting to blush. I want it green. And this basil is looking really sad, but there are some carrots in here. And yeah, some other tomatoes I just started. So this is a tropical sunset tomato. It's only been in there maybe a week, as well as this 42-day tomato. I did a um, video about them. Let me see if I can reference it. But I just planted these a week ago, and they both have sprouted already. But I replanted tomatoes in July because this pineapple tomato plant just looks so sad. And I keep taking the, the yellow parts off, and like there's this pretty new stem that's not affected by anything but I need to stop rubbing it on the stuff that might be so yeah just take those off can't stand it all right anyway over to this bed so it looks wild and overgrown a little but it's not I mean it's this is how I want it so it's fine but Almost everything in here, no, all the tomatoes in here are volunteers. I did not plan them. They all started growing from my compost. Um, and there are several different kinds in here. But I don't know. I think these are Camparis because I really like those from the grocery store. And a couple of them I composted. But they are given every day. And I like to take them when they're blushing because these birds and squirrels will try to come and take all my food. So I gotta get it before they do. This bed is looking sad right now, but it'll get together. That tomato, I left in the nursery pot too long. So we are gonna see if it does anything uh, right now. It's just looking sad, so I might have wasted my money on that one. This is pineapple sage, and it's doing okay. Oh, there's a spider. Hey, spider. Marigold right next to it. And this is a broccoli plant that I planted from seed. I planted several of them, but that one looks like it's the only one that's actually surviving. Tomato plant. We got some. I can't tell if those are squirrel holes, the moles, voles, whatever, because it's burrowing, digging underground, and they just keep digging holes. Ugh. Annoying. Then over here, I got my cinder block bed. So these were the cinder blocks that I had holding my um, 
rain barrels, but my rain barrels broke this winter, so I gotta try something different, but I just decided to um, make a bed out of them, sort of like T-Nogs, Miss Linda's. And everything that's in here is thriving, y'all. Amazing. I'm gonna come back to it. I wanna show y'all my raspberry, blackberry bush. So here. Oh my goodness. I gotta pull this out. These dang June bugs are driving me mad. But anyway, this thing last year, I kept seeing it pop up about this big, which is teeny, right? It's little. But um, there was grass all back here, and I mulched it all to turn it into garden space. But it was that tiny little space, or tiny little plant, and I told my husband, don't mow the grass over it. He mowed the grass over it several times. Oh, it made me mad. So I finally put something around it. Y'all, do you see the, you can't even see it. This thing done grew all the way up through it. There's a piece of it. That, that's what I put around the little teeny thing. And now this is what it is. I did not plant this. It was growing wild in my backyard. It has not produced any berries or flowers yet, but it is growing. And it does have thorns, so it is prickly, but I'll deal with it. Okay, back to this bed. Right next to it, I got some okra that's taking its time, and there's a hole for something that keeps digging. But anyway, I got some beans growing or peas. I think these are pink eye purple hole peas growing up this trellis. Eggplant. Oh my goodness, y'all. Look at all of these flowers in here. Anyway, and then here's the other one that's in this bed. Y'all, the flowers are so pretty when they open. There we go. They're so pretty. But I can actually see that there's something in there. I don't know, maybe that's just a flower. But it feels firm. And a couple of these that had flowers on them are firm now. But these eggplants are gigantic. And I had these two out of the same four pack with these two. And these two just started growing in this bed, but I don't know, they're the same package, and those two in that bed are doing way better than these two in this bed. But this cucumber plant is amazing. So amazing. What's that, two, three. Four cucumbers. That one ain't ready yet. Oh, but that's two. Yep. So let's just go ahead and harvest those. I want y'all to guess how many we harvest. If what we counted was all, or if there's any more. Leave your count in the comments. How many? Do you, how many cucumbers do you think I'm harvesting today? This bed was gifted to me. Um, they found me on TikTok and asked me if I wanted one of their beds. This is it. Um, this is where my eggplants are growing. I do have two sweet potato plants growing in here. A couple of pepper plants, some beans growing, and my giant collard greens that are giant y'all they're gigantic they're like really big but I am so ready for the winter y'all because or the fall when the bugs die and go away 
um, because then I don't have to fight them for my gigantic greens. Okay, back to the garden tour. So, oh yeah, five cucumbers today. And there is another one that I could have got, but I'm gonna leave it till tomorrow because there's a couple other ones that's in there. Oh yeah, <laughs> hands in the dirt. Look at those hugging. But yeah, that tomato plant right there that looks sad was a volunteer as well and it just volunteered out of that grow bag. So I let it, but it's a yellow pear tomato and a lot of my volunteers are that. I have another one over in the other part of the garden, but these volunteers are not thriving like the originals were. Um, so I'm just gonna harvest what I can off of them and then they can go in the compost. Sad little pumpkin over there. Sad, sad, but I just put it in there. It was left in the um, nursery pot too long. So we're gonna see what happens. I don't know what this brassica is, but I planted the seeds because I wanted to see and leaf miners getting it and then another tomato has volunteered in there. These are green beans. So they are starting to put off some beans now. Um, probably like six or eight seeds I planted in that grow bag. This is marshmallow that I planted in a pot last year, year before it lived through the winter, came back strong. I tucked it in there because it keeps falling over. But I need to figure out how to harvest these beautiful flowers. Because it is medicinal and that's why I'm growing it. Uh, my calendula. So more beans growing out of here. I don't remember which ones I planted. But they're vining, whatever they are. This is a pineapple tomatillo, I think ground cherry, something like that. But I forgot that I planted it. And then I looked and I'm like, oh shoot, I got a tomatillo or ground cherry. And more calendula back there. Carrots. And I think those are pink eye purple hole peas, black eyed peas. Don't know what that is. I don't know. But there's plenty of space to put more stuff in here. So I'm gonna figure that out things in nursery pots basil sorrel and parsley or cilantro but I gotta do something with that something something potatoes doing good I think I need to heal them up a little bit you know fill I'm gonna fill it up one more time um, and then just let them keep on growing and this is the sweet potatoes strawberries back there birds been having a good old time eating all my strawberries mm, this space looks bad too but this is my apple tree or one of them I need to get these little suckers off and plant it I need to get that dandelion out of there collect these seeds off this tobacco yep off that tobacco this is more beans I had planted them. The squirrels came digging and just dug a lot of stuff. And this is kind of what I'm left with. And these beans are struggling. But I don't think they like being in this container. But it's making flowers, so I'll get the beans off of them. <clears throat> then this kale. Ain't it pretty? Well bugs are loving it. Caterpillars, white flies, ooh, did you see them all? You see them flying, goodness. But yeah, caterpillars, tan them up. So, I am going to, ooh, look at all them white flies, disgusting. So what I'm gonna do is chop all of this down and I think I'm gonna build a higher bed around it and then fill it with some, you know, amended soil and start over. But I also wanna build like a box, a screen over it to protect it from all of these 
and OMG. Ew. Oh my. Do y'all see that nastiness? Ugh. No, on there. Them bugs. Them bugs butt the butt. Then you got them worms on there. But this is what's happening. And then you see that leaf, that leaf curled over. That's because there's something down in there. But they having a, a good old time in my kale. And I don't like it. So yep, I'm gonna revamp this bed right here. And I'm excited because it'll give me a chance to use my new woodworking tools. Okay, so I think. I'm gonna go ahead and stop for today and we'll do a uh, part two um, tomorrow or in a few days. But, cause the mosquitoes are tearing me up and it's really hot in a sweatshirt. I have to wear a sweatshirt because the mosquitoes be biting me. But um, yes, come back for part two so you can see what else I have growing out here in the garden.